Hi everyone, this is Dave from Daily Tech TV and I've got a viewer question here from something I'm going to really struggle with saying this name, the VTEG B. So, so sorry if I've said that wrong. So the VTEG B asks, which do you think is the best operating system for mobile phones? Now, there are four main players really. I'm going to discount Symbian because although Nokia uh, have done a very good job with the latest version of Symbian, I don't get on with it myself. So it's Symbian's okay, but I think it's had its day really. Then there's Blackberry, Blackberry OS 7, the really nice user interface. They've integrated sort of touchscreen uh, with their latest operating system. It works really well, but there is definitely a lack of applications available for that platform. So let's push Blackberry off to the side as well. Then we've got Windows Phone 7.5 Mango. Elegant, elegant design. When I've tested mobile phones running that operating system, I love the fluidity of the user interface. I love the simplicity. I love the live tiles and the updates. The one thing that still stops me from using that as my daily device is there is still definitely a lack of applications. Give it another year and get some really good apps on that platform and I think I'd be prepared to give it another go. But for now, let's move that across to the side as well. And that leaves two more operating systems. It leaves Google Android and of course Apple's iOS. Now Google Android, the latest version that's available is version four, Ice Cream Sandwich, and we're on iOS, I think it's 5.1 at the moment. Both of them perform very well. There are two distinct differences between the two. With Google Android's Ice Cream Sandwich, you can of course have widgets and populate your various screens with widgets that update frequently. And you can also, of course, put your icons anywhere you want on the screen with gaps. With Apple's iOS, we have got notifications now like Android, so we can pull a drawer down to get uh, access to notifications that have come into our device. But we've still got this regimented grid-like uh, arrangement of icons and you tap in and out of applications and once you're done with one you're back out to another so it's sort of a very strict and rigid way of using the device but the user interface again very very elegant works extremely well one thing that iOS has got going for it is there's less devices so moving between maybe an iPhone 3GS and an iPhone 4 and an iPhone 4S or if you use an iPad you're going to instantly be familiar with the operating system. With Google Android, even though it's running maybe uh, uh, Google Android Ice Cream Sandwich or the previous version, you're going to maybe have slightly different experiences depending on which brand of mobile phone you purchase. If you purchase, for example, an HTC handset, it has HTC Sense overlaid on top of the operating system, so it looks slightly different to if you purchase something like a Samsung Galaxy Nexus. It's still easy to find your way around, but it just means things are positioned slightly differently and it has a slightly different feel to it. You've also got the added implication with Google Android devices is that you've got so many to choose from from all different manufacturers. But when it comes down to looking at just the OS, which was your question, which is the best operating system, I'm not going to say which one, I think they both have their merits and their downsides. For me, I'm still on Google Android at the moment and I love Ice Cream Sandwich. However, I do really like Apple's iOS as well. It just became a little bit boring for me. I think it needs some more innovation. I think they need to introduce some sort of little mini widgets. That would be really cool. Don't forget also with iOS, you've also got the option of jailbreaking as well and then you really can customize your device. That's not for everyone, so I can't really add that into the equation or the answer to this question. So I would say either Google Android or Apple iOS. I almost forgot what I was saying there right at the end of the video. Oh my goodness, but that's a brilliant question. And it's one that we could discuss for hours and hours because there are pros and cons to all of the operating systems that are available on mobile phones and mobile devices nowadays. So thanks very much for leaving that question. If you've got any new questions, 
leave them in the comments below. Please do hit that subscribe button and I will see you all in the next video.